finally. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks. I know people have been like going crazy. When's your next one? <laughs> yeah, they our cult following. Yeah, it's not an, an occult following. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's not a cult following. It's an occult. Like we've got a bunch of devil worshippers. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, oh, you know what? I need to scoot over because I'm. Uh, I'm not get, get friendly here, Mark. <laughs> Let's get friendly. Here, so, yes, yes, yeah, let's scoot over a little. Um, so anyway, we're back and we're going to be talking about The Queen is Dead this the time. The Queen is Dead, yep. Let so, me get that queued up. And uh, uh, first Ooh. off, though, of course, we thank, we appreciate everybody for that have watched. And in particular, uh, you know, I just noticed a new blip, the guy in Belgium. Somebody yeah. in Belgium watched our whole thing. Yeah. Which is awesome. Hopefully you watched the It's going again. international. We uh, love you. The Handsome Hooligans International. Yeah. Yep. INTL. Yeah. INTL. And, uh, uh, oh, we're the Handsome Hooligans. Handsome Hooligans on yeah. this week's Smith's Cast. Yep. This charming Smith's Cast. This charming what kind Smith's of Smith's Cast is it? It's, it's a, a charming, charming Smith's right. Cast. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to give a shout out to our comment. Uh, <laughs> we so, appreciate the comment. So, but. this is from uh, uh, David, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's really long. Uh, the, head the Headmaster Ritual is one of my favorite album openers, up there with Age of Consen Consent uh, from Power, Corruption, and Lies. I miss How Soon Is Now, although I know it wasn't part of the original release, and it was great flipping uh, to side two, hearing that warbling tremolo. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I like the, his advice on meat is murder. Yeah. <laughs> this part. And finally, the last song and my tips on dealing with it. Remove the stylus from the record, skip the track on CD, or press the eject on the cassette. <laughs> Vacuum the room for six minutes, leave the room for six minutes or so, and use the toilet or make a sandwich. <laughs> with or without meat. Uh, great show, thanks for the laughs. And then we got one from Pinkity Pink, who oh. starts off... Uh, oh, you're gonna, on, okay. From Pinkity Pink on Mark's uh, beautiful rendition of Please, Please, Please. Uh, and he starts off with Fairway to Ya. <laughs> a beautiful tune is a Fairway beautiful tune. Fairway to Ya. I spent most of this evening sussing out the melodies of the Smiths and Hat Full of Hollow on my tin whistle. Um, I want to hear that on tin yeah, whistle. Yeah. That is cool. So, yeah, so if you put it on YouTube, we will definitely link it back here so everybody can see it too. Yeah. Uh, he says, a tune, a tune, and isn't imitation some fine form of flattery? Yes, it is. So we will be selling costumes of ourselves at twenty nine ninety nine dollars a piece. Uh, you can buy them at... Costumes of ourselves? What is mine? Like a bald cap? With a pair of sideburns? <laughs> it's like the reverse Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Except you have the sideburns still. Yeah. <laughs> the reverse Elvis. Oh my gosh, that's what I am? That well, sucks. Yeah. Okay. Um, so okay, we appreciate the the comments, um, and here we are. Well, let's go over the. We're gonna try to make this a little. Uh, let's okay. Let's go over the two sides. Okay. We'll, so we're gonna cover the Queen is Dead, and we're gonna try to cover it. Cover a few songs and and, and make uh, make this a little bit shorter, so you don't have to sit through it the entire way because. Um, we might be getting into the territory that Dave was talking about when people, his, his, uh, his, uh, <laughs> uh, advice to listening to the, this charming Smith's cast. Oh, taking it, making a sandwich <laughs> for an hour. Go make a sandwich for an hour. Go to the bathroom <laughs> for an hour if you need help. You so, know? okay. Well, okay. So the queen is dead. We're going to go with side, side A. Side A. Those are the ones we're covering right now. What's side or, A? The queen is dead. Frankly, Mr. Shankly. I know it's over. Never had no one ever. Cemetery gates. And cemetery gates. Which oh, cemetery is gates. cemetery gates. Is that is there a difference? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that all right. Let's not get into that yet. Now that's interesting. Hey, I always said cemetery gates. I'm such like a horrible Smiths fan. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, gates. cemetery gates. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk about it whenever oh, we yeah, get there. You bet. You so, um. Um, Should we take we'll me back to dear old Blighty? To, uh, do, well, do you, who's is this anybody's favorite studio album? 
I kind of like it because I, I like. like it. <laughs> well, it, it's one of my it's one of my top Smiths albums, and it's because there's a few songs on here. Um, there is a light. Perfect. Big Mouth, Cemetery Gates, Never Had No One Ever, I Know It's Over, and Frankly, Mr. Shankly. I mean, most, of, most the songs, of the songs. Most of the songs on here are really good, and I can listen to them over and over and over and over again and not, you know, not have an issue like, oh, I'm bored now with this song after the tenth time I've heard it. So I actually like, I don't think that this is going to be my favorite album, because again, if we're talking about yeah. studio albums, it's this nah. is going to be up in the top, you know, two, mm. but it's not going to okay. be my favorite. Well, let's talk real quick. One thing that happened is they, they between this and Made His Murder, is Johnny Marr got an emulator. And so he was able to kind of start making string arrangements and yeah. different sounds. Wasn't this the one that he stole? Uh, no. Yeah. What? This is the one that he stole and he got caught. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about that on an earlier podcast. They yeah, anyway, go, 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 go. Anyway, he got an emulator. Are you talking about whenever they're rated as... Anyway, no, that's in his no. autobiography. Oh, Dad. Father's Day. What? Yeah. Kaz. I took it back from Mark. You are a fickle son. Next time, next, <laughs> next time I'm going to have that mug. <laughs> like, Dad, Dad, I got what? something to tell you. <laughs> no, 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 please, no. Um, sometime, in the, for, sometime in the future. But, um, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, so, now. well, but he got, he got the emulator, and uh, yep. so he was able to kind of make different sounds. So this one's a more of a... Dep a departure from the rock album, which was Meet His Murder. Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't, it's not so guitar driven. It's yeah. funny that you say that when the first track is like uber guitar driven, you know? Well, but it actually, okay. So this was also the one that when they were recording, they were having a dispute. Oh, yeah, with, with the record, trade. Label, record well, label. Yeah, what happened was that, uh, uh, the dispute was they had so many record deals. They and because they thought that Hat Full of Hollow counted as an album, that this was the last album that they had to make yep. for Rough Trade. They thought they were done, so they decided just to go hire a lawyer and make a mess of everything. And then so this was delayed by eight months yep. because. Uh, they were having a dispute to figure out if this is the last one or if the, you know and so it ends up that half full of hollow is just a gift from the gods it's not even an album <laughs> 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 they, you it know it doesn't exist <laughs> <laughs> yeah rough trade made no money on it there's the, you know there's no different songs it's just like like morrissey said in his autobiography it's just like uh you know, they swept up the the, yeah. the leavings of the. <laughs> so anyway, so it delayed uh, the Queen is Dead by eight months, and yeah, anyway. and so Mar got upset, and oh so yeah, they they had this it completely. The they had it completely recorded, and all the master tapes were at this at this uh, country studio that they were recording at, and Johnny Mar knew the owner of. It this was place. a home. Yeah, yeah, it was a home studio. So. Yeah, and so him and him and one of the, his uh, his friends who happened I to think be a roadie. roadie yeah. yeah, he happened to be a roadie at, for for the band. They decided to jump in the car one night and just drive down there, even though another uh, uh, group was already in the house uh, recording, and it was you know nighttime. They were just bumped up and everything. He said, "We're going to sneak in. I'm going to steal the tapes, and then I'm going to come back and you're going to take off." driving and we're, we're gonna get away with it mm -hmm. so he jumps into the house breaks into the house gets the gets the recordings and as soon as he gets the recordings he turns around and there's the owner of the, the house and he's, he's like, like hey johnny, johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, hey johnny like like he didn't even uh what are you doing there you know he's like talking him down johnny marsh probably hopped up on coke he's probably got all this powder around his nose can you imagine He's like, I came, I came to get my, <laughs> I, I came to get the recordings. But uh, Johnny, uh, you know, like he's like talking him down. You know I can't like ten miles, right? You know, yeah. I mean, this they haven't even paid us for the studio yeah. time, and you know, rep trading. So he talked Johnny hard <laughs> down. Can you imagine? <laughs> Yeah. 
so he, Johnny Johnny went all they you know because if you look at him especially back then he was a twig yeah he was a twig in boots <laughs> that's what he twig was and, <laughs> a twig in boots that's funny I was, I was just, it's just funny picturing saying like, yeah let's go break into somewhere tonight <laughs> <You know? laughs> so anyway so there was there was uh, you know and I understand he was upset because they had created this awesome album. And he was, you know, but then yeah, they, he was it pissed. Was, yeah, he was pissed. It's just like, and they, they suddenly it was like something I created. It might not even yeah ha end up happening. So anyway, well, let's get on to the the let's song. Go to so party. yeah, okay. We better not play too long, though, remember? No, we're fine. They just have to put it out here. I know, but what if it's like? Yeah. Okay, let's skip. Here it okay, comes. here it comes. You have the room. Ah, oh, I don't know. So, you know, uh, the putting, taking, uh. Putting Take Me Back to the Old Flighty at the beginning, that was actually uh, Mike Joyce's idea. Was it? Yeah, he said, you know, it would go really well with my drums. <laughs> Take Me Back to the Old Blighty. So that was the beginning of the song. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, that's how Mike Joyce talks. Yeah, that is. Old <laughs> Blighty. Like, what, Mike? Talk All right. to the Old Blighty. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, so that the beginning. Does somebody want to talk about? Have you? Has anybody seen this? The movie? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Yeah. I I just seen it because. Oh, do you mean the movie with Take Me Back to Daryl Blighty or the the Smiths movie, uh, or movie oh, thirteen really? minute video by Derek Charman? No, no, the uh, no, no, the, no, actual the actual show actual that it comes. Yeah. No, I, I oh, I've seen, seen part of it, or at least the part where they sing the song. Anyway, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, so we haven't seen it. So anyway, uh, I, let's I, talk I, about this song. I like the song. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, no, th there's next some, song. There's some, no, there's some cool quips in this. Okay, well, like, let's talk about it. Okay, them. The, the, best, the best lyric in this song is when he breaks into the palace with a sponge and a rusty spanner. And the queen stops him and says, Ooh, I know you, and you cannot sing. And he says, That's nothing. You should hear me play piano. <laughs> and the funny thing is, we get to hear him play piano on the next album on, yeah. on Strange Ways Here We Come. And it's not like terrible. Death of a Disco Dancer. Yeah. What, yeah, so. What's funny is that that like actually happened. Someone actually broke into the palace and was just like caught having a nice conversation with uh, the queen. And then he got arrested. But I mean, like. Really? You know, yeah. Recently? No, uh, before before this oh. album. Oh, this is that's based a reference on, to that. Based on a true story. Yeah. Uh, my dad, I believe, also has a, a theory on uh, this song not actually being about the royal family. No, it, in fact, Morrissey gave an interview one time because it was right after this album came out I think that he was under investigation from the the royal police because of the name of the song and and it was the Queen is dead and they thought that he meant harm to the royal family. And he said, no, this this song is actually uh, biographical. The queen is me. Oh. That's what he gave in an interview. Well, him. he was just trying to get out of the I'm yeah. sure he was. <laughs> I'm the queen. Yeah. <laughs> but he actually gave an interview that that's, and that's what he said. It's just so. like in the, in the IT crowd. Welcome <laughs> to the United Queendom. <laughs> 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 what the heck? Oh my gosh! I just, I, I knew I should have looked at these lyrics because there's lyrics that I didn't even know. Yeah. Like I just looked down and I was like, okay, there's this. He says, "Past the pub that saps your body." Yeah. I didn't know. I was. That's. I always thought it was. That's the part that saps your body. And no. <laughs> anyway, what? Do I, what sort of ears do you have? I have. Big ears. <laughs> They're kind of earish, you know. But I didn't know they said the pub. Yeah. Past the pub that wrecks your body. Yeah. Dear oh my Charles, gosh. Don't you ever crave to, I, I love this one. Dear Charles, don't you ever crave to appear on the front of the Daily Mail dressed in your mother's bridal veil? Oh yeah. And I bet you he does. <laughs> the funniest thing is I can't remember which, I, I want to say it's The Simpsons, 
but one show actually kind of parodied that, parodied that and showed uh, a picture of Prince Charles in a wedding veil. Really? On a magazine cover. <laughs> I forget which, which, uh, which show that was, but somebody did do that. When I saw that, I just kind of laughed. You know, one thing on this song, well, you said it, it was guitar driven, but I think it's drum driven. Ooh. You know, because actually the guitar mainly is just kind of making a distortion song, sound and kind of like a, sometimes a, you know, but, but it's, it, the drums is the real driver on this one for me. Well, let's see. But at the, towards the end, he starts adding more guitar stuff. Okay, so here's, here's the middle of the song. Here, turn up a little bit. Okay, here's where. So he starts kind of, but it's really, I mean, again, it's kind of uh, vocal, drums, and bass, though, that are the main stick out on this one for me. All right. I'm just saying, you start off with the drum, you yeah. know, and then Morrissey comes in. And, All right. I'm just going to. I always, that's one thing I think, I think uh, on this album in general, Johnny Marr kind of sells himself short. Yeah. He doesn't, like well, he, I, it's okay to have, like be, make the guitars up front. I, I know, but I, I think on this one he wanted to, and, and this this is my personal theory about Johnny Marr when he when he created this one. He wanted to show the completeness instead of just the, 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 the brilliance of the guitar. Yeah, but uh, Me and His Murder, that was a complete. Yeah, but. Anyway, I, I think sometimes, I, and even on Meet His Murder, I think sometimes it's like, Johnny, you can turn yourself up. It's all right. Yeah. It go, your your amp goes to 11. <laughs> <laughs> no, <but> that's, hey. <laughs> uh, what, Nigel? <laughs> <laughs> so, want to hear a story that I heard about uh, this track? Yeah. So, when this album first came out, uh, someone at the enemy was going to review it and so they put it on for the first time like in the main office area and like take me back to dear old blighty was playing and everybody was kind of confused by it and then the drums came in and then the guitar and then vocals and everything and everybody stopped like even the people who like actually did not like the smiths like firmly disliked the smiths at the enemy were kind of like taken back and like awe of this track. Really? Yeah. Same thing happened at the studio too when Johnny Marr uh, put down his guitar. Everybody stopped and then after he was done, everybody applauded him at the like, studio. Ah, yeah. yeah. They all had lighters up. <laughs> I love you, Johnny. Johnny! I, yeah. <laughs> and then Morrissey left him an index card. Please don't steal my thunder. <laughs> Johnny, nice try. <laughs> Better luck next time. Leave the celebrity to me. That's right. <laughs> well, so uh, it's a strong, it's a very strong opening. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah, you got you got this old timey thing, you know, that take me back to dear old Blighty, some old timey English, British thing, and then also, you know, the drums come in, the guitar. It's it does build up, and then and then the lyrics are are great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think uh, lyrics are funny. Mm -hmm. I think actually, the enemy crowned this album as the number one album of all time uh, in like two thousand ten. I think I think it's interesting because so many people love this album, and I okay, I'm not gonna say. I mean, this is like the first actual cassettes I owned of theirs was Louder and Bombs and Queen's Dead, so I listen to this a lot, and I I I like it, but it's just so short too. Yeah. So like, well, compared to 30, Louder Than Bombs, yeah. <laughs> 30 some minutes, yeah. But I um, mean... Well, I, I guess that's true because uh, Hat Full of Hollow is longer. And why didn't they put How Soon Is Now on this one? And then... <laughs> <laughs> How Soon Is Now belongs on every album. <laughs> you just get like I two love minutes at a time on each album. How, How Soon Is Now should be every other track on every album. <laughs> it just goes in there. <laughs> okay. Well, so anyway, this this song's really cool, and then it, they have that distortion or that feedback thing yep. going throughout it. And yeah, uh, 
One guy, though, described this album, and it was in Morrissey's autobiography, some American person was like, the first, first three tracks on this album are unlistenable. What? I know. an idiot. Okay, so then you go, so you got this one, and it's funny. That's the thing, is that I think, I think on this album, Morrissey really starts being really funny. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, like, more, he's more quippy in a humorous way than he is in than a... Than dark. Yeah. The dark, yeah, all that. I mean, not that he's like so dark and, you know, that's, yeah. but but he, you know, instead of like, you know, what she said and, and that joke isn't funny anymore, he's kind of yeah, he, a lot, a lot more. He's, he's poking fun at everyone. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean. No, it's great. That's what I'm saying. He's kind of honing his craft. Yeah. I, I think the best way uh, to kind of think of it is Morrissey, like seeing how far he can go. But being still like not far enough where he could just be like, it's just a joke, it's just a joke. Just kidding, guys. And now he's at the point where he can just say whatever he wants and it's not even funny and it's not even Nobody will even listen to him. Yeah. Yeah, now that's what I'm saying is that, that, uh, sorry, but uh, that he, okay, let's not talk about more secret. Right, uh, We're at like 20 Frankly, minutes. Mr. Shankly. All right, can so we let's get, go uh, to Travis on the phone. <laughs> Frankly, Mr. Shankly, you ready? Frankly, Mr. Shankly. Are we ready for this one? Yeah. Because yeah. this one's a, another funny one. Oh, what's the part where... Alright. So, I'm going to skip ahead. Yeah. Oops. I like when it goes, <laughs> where does that happen? This, this, <laughs> this, is, this is the one I like. Okay. <laughs> What's the part where it's like, wah, 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 wah. it goes off into oh. this other. Dang it! I wish it was there. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. Okay, see me. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, there it is. Dang it! Anyway, this is an interesting <laughs> song because it's like this light kind of song that the Smiths hadn't done before. Yeah. Like and, then, the, and then at the end he robs them. <laughs> he robs them? Yeah, give us your money. Oh, and I thought he said, oh, give us money. He's asking for a raise. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. It, cause it the doesn't song have it in the lyrics. The, but at the very end it sounds like, now give us your money. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, yeah, I, it, 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 it is saying that. Wait, um, I thought it was saying, it's about Jeff oh, Travis. give us money. He's asking for, hey, Give yeah. us some freaking money. Yeah, it's about Jeff Travis. He's him. like, <laughs> give us all your money. <laughs> or what are you hearing at the end? See, oh, this is where. Oh, give us your money. <gasps> See, that's what I'm saying. You guys are wrong. <laughs> so the other. No, it's like, but it's like a Morrissey's like, voice. Yeah. Urgh, okay. Give us some money. Meat is murder. <laughs> Meat is murder. It is murder. <laughs> that was way too loud, sorry. So, oh, anyway, whenever he sings this. I, I, I like this one too. But sometimes I feel more fulfilled making Christmas cards with the mentally ill. I love that one. Well, I like, I like uh, um, he's like, I didn't realize you wrote poetry. I didn't realize you wrote <laughs> yeah, such, such bloody, really awful such poetry. Bloody awful. <laughs> bloody awful, yeah. Bloody awful. I'm just like, you know what? And this is so, like, because apparently Jeff Travis. Handed him. Had tried showing Morrissey some of his poetry, and Morrissey was just like, "Oh my gosh, this idiot!" But it, <laughs> Jeff Travis is probably saying, "Yeah, I still have that index card too." <laughs> <laughs> like bloody, yeah, he handed him the thing that said "bloody awful poetry." <laughs> anyway, but this one, um, it's like this fun, cute yeah. kind of that got a little reggae, not reggae, kind of, but the eh, yeah, eh, you know, like uh, and. It, um, that's a, it's just kind of a diff. They're taking a different way on their this yeah. this new album or this album. Okay, Kaz. 
Um, I've got to say, probably like out of all the tracks, it's my most skippable track. Frankly, Mr. Shankly? Really? Yeah, either that or uh, or Seven Tree Gates. No! It's Cemetery Gates. How dare you? It's not. I think I'm gonna kick both okay. of you guys out of the Smiths. All right. Cast. So, frankly, Mr. Shank, it's a cute song. It's funny, but it's not. It, it, it's not like breathtaking. Yeah, it's kind of. It's got. A, it's got a kind of country and ska or or yeah. you know a thing to it going at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not like the greatest piece of work or anything. But no, it's, it, it's it, fun. It's terribly fun, and I, yeah. I wouldn't really. And say then whenever they go. Wah. I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really skip any uh, of these tracks unless I was looking for a certain one. But oh no, I listened to it all the way through. Tracks. Okay, well okay, Kaz, now let's let's introduce the next one, Cass. All right, uh, what do you want me to say? I, kn I know it's over. I ha I have a Teletubby thing. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna be able to see that. <laughs> they're not gonna see that. All right, well, we can link it in the in the comments or whatever the bio. Yeah. Buy it? What? No. Um, so I don't know what you do for that. No, we'll just yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. we just it's just happy of it. They're all like, <laughs> it's a all thing. happy with frankly, and then also I know it's over. Yeah. Actually, I think this. Oh, do we want to play some of it? Or are you, were you gonna say something about it? Or are we gonna? You tell me. If you want me to play it, I will play it. Play. Just it. play it. Yeah. Let's. let's all right. Uh, let's do it. Oh. See again, this one is, is bass. Yeah. The bass is the thing that's playing. The guitar just—it reminds me of Back to the Future. Remember when he's like turning, like yeah. fading away, <laughs> and all he says is "Yeah." Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I so do, I do like this one, but this song is also one of my favorites, not because of the song. But because of a stupid. Oh yeah. <laughs> is it on this one? Jesus yeah, Christ! How can you be so stupid? It's the very last song. <laughs> this one is awesome. Here, it's about a minute it. something into it. No, it's not. It's stupid. Okay. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ! How can you be so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes back to stage. Yeah, then yeah. he goes right back into the song. What a professional, man. Yeah. <laughs> Always a pro. Like, no, wait, let's hear him come back. Sad man. <laughs> <laughs> or if he doesn't miss a beat. Yeah. He looks over at Johnny. He's like, okay, replay that line. We'll like, go, get back into it. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Like, uh, Mike Joyce is still keeping that. <laughs> anyway but i i do like it for the lyrics and everything else it's just every time i hear that i can't i can't not <laughs> yeah. like, what's he gonna say where's that jesus christ part and it's uh oh wait this is the actual yeah you know sometimes you sometimes you say that instead of the actual lyrics and like, oh. yeah. <laughs> that's funny actually though this uh <laughs> That is the best. Yeah, like, no, uh, my friends and I, we went to a Morrissey concert, uh, like, November of last year, and we just sang that the whole way. Not you even went to see Morrissey? Yeah. Yeah. In Without November. me. Hey, I offered you the chance to go. How much? How much I, had you said, I had to work. I had to work. Well, he was just here in, down in Tucson. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go to that, right. but it's a good thing I didn't, because he only played, like, five songs and then walked off. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because he had like a terrible cold or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. and then like, oh, crap, I can't remember who, but like his guitarist, Did somebody, or, his guitarist or whatever. He, he felt like, a terrible cold coming on. <laughs> Hopefully, somebody beat the crap out of him in the showers <laughs> after that. <laughs> like we're gonna get you, buddy. Yeah, it was boss. <laughs> um, anyways. Oh, we didn't even mention that. By the way, yesterday, the Queen is dead. 31 years old. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, there you go. Um, Woohoo. 31, I mean, can you believe that? That's old. <laughs> so, anyway, um, okay, yeah. so actually, this is probably the, the. I mean, maybe it's not a hidden gem because it, it's known, but this is like a real gem of a song. Yeah. Like, I think 
you know, Big Mouth, well, Big Mouth Strike Skin's great, but there's light that never goes out is kind of like loved. Yeah. You know, across the board, but this is kind of like the lost one that's actually, like, there's light that never goes out is kind of that young love. Yeah. You know, like, Oh, if I could just, you know, we're in this and, oh, it'd be so awesome if we could die. But this one's more... <laughs> Did you know what Mark just said? To die together. Yeah, but you didn't, uh, you didn't say it. To die it. <laughs> if, if we could just die. <laughs> die. Diet. Die. 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 Diet. Yeah, that Simpsons episode. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, Homer Sim. It's uh, the uh, Springfield Files. Homer's walking along a street and it's like really scary and, and everything. And he comes up to a billboard and, it, and part of it's hidden and oh, it says, it says die. die. He's like, ah! And then the trees blow out and it says <laughs> die. And he's like, ah! <laughs> Even worse for Homer Simpson. That's funny. <laughs> but so this is this is more love once you're in a relationship. You know, the the, the lyrics you'd... Uh, I think it's more love once you've lost a relationship. Well, I mean, but I'm saying, well, it's it's kind of like sad veil bride, please be happy, handsome room, give her room, loud laddish lover, treat her kindly, although she needs you more than she loves you. You know, it's like this kind of thing, like you have to give up some stuff when you're in a relationship. You, yeah. you can't just be, you know, like it'd be great. Like, in there is light that never goes out to go out in this blaze of glory. You know, like Bonnie yeah. and Clyde, you know. But relationship takes work. And it, it takes <laughs> it takes patience and, and stuff. So yeah. this is more of the mature love song that isn't so... So parenting advice by the Smiths. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> or love like, advice. Please, no. <laughs> like actually Morsi hit the nail on the head with this one, although he's never really been in there. He's had no one ever. What are you talking but, about? Okay, Cass, Cass, tell us what you th tell us some of your thoughts on, on this one. What do um, you mean? Uh I'll talk about that later. Um so my thoughts on this one are uh it, it's kind of a prevailing theory, is that uh this song was written uh kind of like because Morrissey felt like he was going to lose Johnny Marr uh because this song was written just or the lyrics to the song were written just after Johnny Marr got married and uh I feel like it was kind of uh Morrissey's like please don't leave to Johnny Marr that he writes like every album or so um hmm cuz like um as well, a lot of people think, like, it's Morrissey's, like, last, like, love confession to Johnny Marr. You think Morrissey was actually in love with Johnny Marr? No, I'm I, not so sure. I, I um, think it was Morrissey. I, never, I, I never. think Morrissey had, like, an infatuation with Johnny Marr, like, as... Like, like a talent. Like a security blanket. Well, yeah. I, I not mean, as, like, a security blanket, but just, like, as a muse and, like, uh, a person that he really enjoyed being around and looked up oh, to a friend a bit like yeah. um like mark does friend with, a friend with benefits <laughs> no, the benefits, no, no. no the benefits were that he wrote cool and good songs <laughs> no like Wait, um, what were you thinking i said like you to me oh but friends you said benefits. friends with benefits i'm like whoa wait the, the benefit <laughs> is we get to do a podcast together no, a, a bit like um a bit like if you've ever read uh, the picture of dorian gray how uh basil felt about dorian for the first uh chapter or so and then basil turned on dorian yeah no yeah he did dorian turned on basil no basil turned on dorian how so this is a Smith's cast, not a not a wild cast. We'll take this up after. We'll take this up in Cemetery Gates. No, no, no. When it, Wild's okay. on her so, side, your so, side, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Dorian did 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 um uh what was the word? Turn. Turn. <laughs> Thank you. Dorian did turn on Basil, but he only did that because Basil started telling him. Listen, you're you're too caught up in yourself. I said, live life in the moment, not stay in that moment forever. Wait, we're going on with the uh, wild cast. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, coming up next, the wild cast. He, he didn't. He said he wanted him uh, to be a to be a good person. He felt like there were all these rumors going around, and he wanted to know if they were true. And then Dorian said, "Ha, you want to see for yourself?" And then took him upstairs. And then yeah, that's that's when 
that's yeah, but didn't Dorian end up killing people? Yeah, yeah, yeah but that's the whole thing. Is Dorian did never really look at himself <laughs> like <laughs> you know what? Forget it. <laughs> We're thirty five. <minutes. laughs> We're like, let's uh, talk about picture of Dorian Gray. Okay, but I anyway, I know it's over. Gray. Like it does, it does do a build up. Yeah. Too, where all of a sudden, you know, it starts off slow. It's kind of like this, kind of a fifties, you know, slow song. You know, and like I said, the Michael J. Fox. Yeah. You know, <laughs> doing that. It's all. Run. Oh. Run. But it, it, then he starts going to dun, 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 You know, at the end, it yeah. kind of builds up, and there, and then he, they add strings to it. Yeah. yeah. Little uh, strings. Yeah, I also so, want to point out just like what beautiful imagery. Uh, oh, mother, I can feel the soil falling over my head is. Because, oh my gosh. Getting buried. Yeah. And that's like what the guitar sounds like in the song is like each little strum of the guitar is just like another another uh, shovel full of soil yep. falling uh, into your grave. So Johnny Mars burying Morrissey. Yeah. I, that's why he was writing the song. He's like, hey, I'm getting married, man. You're, you're gone. <laughs> He's like, here, here's the lyrics you should write. For <laughs> like, you <laughs> <saying she's> right. <laughs> He's like, oh, and by the way, this is about me burying you alive, Morrissey. But I mean, some of the, you know, it's so easy. Of course, this is the famous, you know, line, but it's so easy to laugh. It's so easy to hate. It takes straight to be gentle and kind, you know? I mean, it's, yeah. it does. I mean, anybody can be a dingling to anybody, but yeah. to be, to be nice and, you know, and, and, and give people room <laughs> that, that takes yeah, a lot have you, more. Have you ever tried driving in Arizona or Utah? Oh yeah. Got to tell you that it really, no, I haven't tried, but I do. Yeah. Holy so God. I don't know. I mean, this is a good song. I think it's one of the, it's kind of. I mean, it's known, but I'm saying it's not. It's it should be more popular than I than it is. Yep. My in my opinion. Yeah. So. So. Okay. So I had never had one. No one. Are we? No, we're done. We're done. Okay. So that's okay. So, <laughs> so we got through three yeah. songs. Son three songs. of a god! Come on, man. So. But it's because of Kaz doing the wild cast as part of the Smiths cast. You wanted to take that. Up. Okay. Well. So okay. We're done with this part. We're going to try to break it down into, I mean, we're, we're going to try to make it more manageable for, for people to watch because <laughs> people have, so many people have been complaining about that. They have, we get comments it, all the time. Like it's you. mainly uh, your wife. She's like, she comes My to me wife. and she's like, she comes to me. Mark. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, would you shut Mark up? Yeah. I'm just says, saying, I think, I think it'd be anything, side A, side B. We're almost, we're already, no, we we can do never had no one ever seven tree gates and big mouth, and then we do boy. Okay, okay, there, okay. There, so we're gonna end this one. Let's just yeah, let's just. Yeah. Um, and if you have any qualms over what we're talking, what we're saying, why don't you comment? Because Dave is trying to get this book out of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one that's commenting now. Dave, if you want the book, just ask me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have He's to like, I don't know. I do not want to pay seven seven ninety nine pounds or seven pounds for eight pounds for this book. <laughs> He's like, so he keeps on commenting. We appreciate it, Dave. But I know Dave. Oh, by the way, um, this is Dave's favorite studio album. Really? Oh, yeah. Shout so, out to Dave. Shout out to you. Right. Okay, so we're gonna end this one. How do you want to end it? With uh, the end of I know it's over. With the end of it? Yeah. Yeah, because that's kind of like we're getting buried alive at the end of this. Okay. Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> Dang it. It was still on the live version. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How could you be so stupid? Leave him. <laughs> All right. So check back. We'll be. Yeah, we'll, we'll be. do the next three songs. Three or four, however, yeah. you know, we're yeah. trying to keep them around 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. I yeah. That. All right. I think we're going to bow out. Okay. Adieu. Adieu. You do? I do. <laughs> I do.